my name is Douglas Block. I'm an author and depression survivor. Welcome to your Depression Recovery Channel, where each week we talk about practical tools and coping strategies for healing from depression and anxiety. Uh, speaking of survivors, the uh, title of this talk is How to Become a Triumphant Survivor. So let's start by looking at that term. It's kind of obvious. Uh, a triumphant survivor is somebody who overcomes difficult obstacles against tremendous odds. And one of my favorite uh, triumphant survivors is Nelson Mandela. Now, you probably know that he spent 27 years as a political prisoner in a South African prison. He was confined to a really small room with no bed and no plumbing. He worked in a rock quarry, and he was only allowed to write and receive a letter every six months, and his visitation was 30 minutes per year. <laughs> Pretty restrictive. And yet, he persevered and became South Africa's first democratically elected president. After he was released from prison, people asked him, how did you survive this ordeal? And this is how he replied. I am fundamentally an optimist. Whether that comes from nature or nurture, I cannot say. Part of being optimistic is keeping one's head pointed towards the sun, one's feet moving forward. There were many dark moments when my faith in humanity was sorely tested, but I would not and could not give myself up to despair. That way leads to death and defeat. Clearly, Mandela was a triumphant survivor. He survived an ordeal in prison. Those of us who have mental health disorders face a similar ordeal, but in some ways it's more difficult because we are in a prison of our own minds, an invisible prison, and there's no clear way out. We cannot hire a lawyer to have our day in court. We cannot appeal to a parole board, and there is no set date of release. Thus, our job is like Mandela's, to not give in to despair and to press on in spite of the pain. Now, another person who did this, who was actually in a mental prison, as opposed to a physical prison, was John Nash, the brilliant mathematician who is the subject of the film A Beautiful Mind, which many of you may have seen. It won a number of Academy Awards. Uh, he went to Princeton. He showed great promise. He was an exceptional student. And at the age of 31, he had a nervous breakdown and descended into schizophrenia. For the next two decades, he survived thanks to the benevolence of his wife and to the board of um, administrators at Princeton University, who let him take refuge at the college and wander around from place to place. And nobody you know, told him to go. They just had tremendous compassion for him. Eventually, he recovered, and he went on to win the Nobel Prize in 1994 for economics. Thus, those of you who are currently struggling with crippling anxiety, crippling depression, bipolar disorder, you too have the ability to become triumphant survivors. If you're in the middle of an episode, try to take hope and inspiration from people like Nelson Mandela or John Nash or anyone you know who has overcome a serious mental illness. In addition to persevering, it is important that you use the tools we talk about in this channel and reach out to others. Once you do this, if you wait long enough and are patient, you will one day become a triumphant survivor. Of course, recovering from an episode of major depression is not easy. In fact, it's the hardest thing I've ever done, by far. But like Mandela and the others, I survived, and so can you. If you just keep hanging in there, use the tools, and remember, this too shall pass. I'd like to close with the words of hope from another triumphant survivor, the Dalai Lama. After seeing his home and his culture destroyed by the communist Chinese, he fled Tibet, found a home in India, and then went out into the world to teach loving kindness and compassion. And this is what he said. Never give up. No matter what is going on, never give up. Develop the heart, be compassionate, not just to your friends, but to everyone. Be compassionate. Work for peace in your heart and in the world. And I say again, never give up. No matter what is going on around you, never give up. This has been Douglas Block. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. If you did find it helpful, I'd like you to give it a like. And also, if you would like to learn more about my work, hit the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel during the closing credits. Actually, that button will be a photograph of me. If you want to visit my website, uh, click on the Healing from Depression book. And if you want to see some other videos, just click on those videos. And until we meet again, I wish you the best in your mental health recovery. Thank you.